Thanks for clicking on my video. Before we get started, please click the subscribe button so that you can get more great content such as this one. Thanks. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tony Coleman, and today I'm going to show you the first way to bunker uh, for a boink challenge. Now this is the simplest method and is the most commonly used. However, uh, it doesn't take very long to set up and uh, it seems to work pretty well. So first I'm going to attach to a project that I would like to bunker. In this case it will be Universal Home. I already have an account. Get logged in. I'm now attached. I'll let the project sync. Now this laptop is an i5. It has four threads that it can use. It's currently got one World Community Grid working at running, but I have set that to no new tasks because I do not want to download any work from it. Uh, so now I'm all attached to Universe. I can see my account and my team name. Go over here. It's starting to download a work unit. You can actually watch the event log. It'll check back in in a few seconds. However, the first steps you're going to want to do at this point, since I already have the other project uh, set to no new work, is go into my computing preferences. And you're going to want to come down off the computing tab to your other category. And you want to store at least, I'll just set this to 10 because the Boink client has a maximum of 10 days to synchronize. Hit save. The next time Universe uh, communicates, it should try to start pulling 10 days worth of work. Now, you can also force a communication with the project server. All you gotta do is go back to the projects tab, select the project, and you can hit update. However, mine is still in the process of downloading quite a few files, so it may take a moment to complete. Uh, right now it's suspended because the computer is in use. So what I recommend doing while downloading is just go to activity and network activity all, or active always. And that will let you start pulling files no matter what you're doing on the computer, no matter what the other settings are, that overrides it. That's going to be something we're going to use here in a moment after we have filled our cache up. Um, the whole point of doing a bunker is to get additional work uh, processed before the start deadline of an event that way you basically start the event with running because you'll you'll get up to however many days you've got to crunch work in advance um, up to 10 days because you really can't go over 10 days unless you have a modified point client which there are some of those out there but they're not very common and you'd have to dig deep and, and probably find members of different teams to get to them so here you can see this working is downloaded i'm going to go ahead and force an update and we can watch the event log here it just pulled a whole bunch of work Now you may have to do this update multiple times to get a full cache. Um, eventually the project server will say um, no tasks requested, not needed, probably because you filled up enough work to uh, suffice your, your full deadline. In this case, I've set it to 10 days. It probably won't get a full 10 days worth of work, but um, it all depends on the project. Some projects you can get a full 10 days worth, some maybe only a few days. It all depends on the size of the work units and what the project settings are. I know World Community Grid is one of them that very rarely will you actually ever get more than probably three, four days at a time just because the work units just don't run that long. There are ways to get around that limitation. That will be in other videos. You can also check out a few of my other videos that I've made uh, that show how you can spoof your CPU. Uh, that's typically the most common way for people to get around it. Um, other people use multiple clients, but again, this is going to be just a, a rundown of the simplest method without 
going above and beyond to uh, to break things too much. So all those tests are now completely downloaded. I will hit update again. You see update request, project request delay of 11 seconds. So let's come back down here. You can see I'm downloading more work. Other clients may also uh, give you more details. Like the latest one, it doesn't seem to tell you how many work units it, it's downloading each time. Some of the older clients do. So here I will continue to update. It will check in. And here, here you can see the computer has reached a limit of, on tasks in progress. That is a setting on the server side as well. Uh, they will limit you to a certain number of tasks per host or a certain number of tasks per CPU thread. It all depends on, on the project. So here I've cached up all the work units that I can get right now. So what I want, would want to do is come back over here and suspend network activity. And then I want to also go to my preferences and change this back to a smaller cache because whenever I open up the floodgates when the, this work is complete I do not want to download a huge batch of work again so that's all you gotta do you can see these running if I just set this to always run because my preference are set when the act, computer is active it, it uh, pauses everything you can see now it's running the world community grid it's got three universal homework units going um, but it will not report any of this work until I turn on the network activity again. So that's basically the concept of setting up the bunker. You want to wait until the event starts before you drop your bunker. Dropping the bunker basically just means you turned on your network activity again. Uh, that way all the work will upload during the challenge and then you would get credit. The things you got to watch out for is the Working themselves have a deadline. You can see here in this column, the deadline for my universal homework is May 20th. So I'm getting basically 14 days to complete all this work. Um, my World Community Grid, on the other hand, has a deadline of May 13th. So I'm getting basically seven days to complete it. So. Um, since the event that I am bunkering for starts tomorrow, I really don't need a full 10 days. It's actually going to be more than enough um, time to get everything turned back in just because this isn't a full 10 days worth of work for this laptop. But I wanted to show you the simplest way of bunkering, the concept behind it, and, and give you an idea of why you would do it. Um, a lot of teams do bunker. Um, it's a simple thing to do if you've only got a couple rigs. Um, if, if you've got several rigs, I would recommend using a program called Boink Tasks so that you can update a lot of them quite easily from one location without remoting into several PCs. Um, but that's all more advanced. It's not uh, what a general user would do. But if you only have a, a few rigs or if you don't mind doing several rigs, you could do it this way. But uh, this is the simplest method and probably the easiest for newer Boink users to do. So if you got any questions, please leave me um, leave those in the comments section. If you like the video, please click that thumbs up button. And um, also make sure that you click that subscribe button so that you can get more great content like this. It helps content providers like myself quite a bit. So until next time, have a good one.